I've explained multiple times. Also, I've explained to King Cobras as to why I'm only posting these at the very end of the month. Usually, you guys now like to spread it out, so we have King Cobra content all throughout the month. Um, but I'm cramming it all into this one weekend because I was waiting till I get back to where I usually film so that I'm comfortable and I can enjoy it properly. I did try to record a couple of times, but I was like, nah, I'm just gonna wait. So here I am. This is part one, and we have like solos, female solos, and just one male solo, I think. Um, so we have uh, Kim Nam Do, uh, Bird, uh, Devita, Bonnie and Clyde, uh, Gain, Paradise Lost, uh, Ruan, uh, Beep Beep, uh, It's a New Birth, Gemini, UFO featuring Miss Hardy, Wednesday Campanella, Melos, and Summer Cake, uh, not in public. Super super excited! Let's just go. Disclaimer, I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay, so first up today we have King Cobra Celeste request. Shout out to you, Celeste. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. Uh, so Celeste has requested this month a uh, Kim Nam Do uh, from A Pink, uh, and I'm going to be reacting to Bird MV. Let's go. I love that for you, Sam. Dum, 
Tum ki des kus tum 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 tum. I'm a boy. Yay! Ooh, is that like an eagle or something? Hey, hey, you hear that sound, Paul? I love that. That was brilliant. That was hot and spicy. She's very hot and spicy. I feel like I'm going to notice her a lot because I don't, you guys know I react to A-Pink. I've reacted to the majority of their um, MVs. I've done album first listens, but I don't really know the members well at all. Um, but I feel like after that, I'm definitely going to be looking out for her a lot more. I love her energy. I love her vibe. Um, she's sassy. She's hot. Uh, she's also super talented like as much as i love the song uh let me just talk about the song first i love that that riff that uh that fluty sound uh it was such a catchy hook and i love how we had that come in in the beginning of the chorus and we just had just an instrumental moment for the chorus and then we had more vocals coming for the chorus um i know people don't like like four instrumental choruses and that that was like a perfect balance um I love the pre-chorus. I think that might be my favourite part. Like, I love those melodies and the way she was singing those parts. Um, it was really good. It was a really good song in general, and I really loved the production. Um, but as much as I enjoyed the song, I felt like the choreo and just, like, her energy she gave off. She just has this vibe. I love that chest pump move. Was it... I think it was at the end of the... the wait, when was it? Is that the end of the pre-chorus or in the chorus? I can't remember. You know the chest pumpy move, I mean. Like, I loved that. I just loved her energy. Uh, that was really, really good. Also, her vocals, uh, that that bird part at the end of the bridge, I think it was, where she went sort of like, she had that soft sort of high note. That was really, really pretty. I loved that. I like her. Shout out to Celeste. Thank you for your request this month. Thank you for being a King Cobra Snakey. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have Fabian's request. Shout out to you, Fabian. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. So Fabian this month has requested uh, Devita. Now I have heard Devita once before. Um, I think her track Evita, uh, the one she sort of debuted with. Um, other than that, I haven't heard any more of her stuff. I do follow her on social media because she seems really cool, but I haven't heard any more of her music, which is just weird to me. I don't know why. One of those time things. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be checking out uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Let's go. Also, like, she has such a good voice. It's quite unique, if I remember rightly.
Audience envy is wicked. Oh shoot! So there's these strings in the back. She's super, super talented. Um, and it's not just about her voice as well. She has this certain energy about her. She kind of reminds me of like Bibi or Lexi Liao, where she has that sort of just super talented sort of vibe, not just vocals, but just like her energy, like her style. She's just super, super cool. But yeah, her voice, oh my God, when she was hitting those, those sort of oh my god she sounded so good also love how like simple that song was the instrumental itself and just the song in general you had little bursts of moments but overall it was really like simple and i love songs like that i love the tempo it the song itself really reminded me of that song by the weekend uh you make me feel like it. the song you did for Fifty Shades of Grey, do you know that one? Uh, that's what it kind of reminded me of. It just had such a smooth vibe to it. I love the MV as well. It was super cool, super creative. You guys know I love MVs like that. I love me a bit of violence. I love me some weird stuff. But again, just like the song, I loved how simple it was. Um, but I love like the colour scheme and like that stage and stuff. Uh, very cool, very aesthetically pleasing, if I'm honest. Uh, I love that. I love her. I definitely have to check out more of her stuff. Shout out to you, Fabian. Thank you so much for requesting this. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so next up we have King Cobra Anna's request. Shout out to you, Anna. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. So, Anna has requested Sangain this month, and I'm going to be checking out the Paradise Lost MV. Let's. Second, I'm gonna add a Interesting instrumentation with these strings and these synths. It's giving me 80s elements. 80s elements, 80s vibes, 80s decades, not the group. That's a... What's that called? Isn't that kind of church? Put a gun so please Oh, I'm so good 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 Let me do Okay, first of all, I'm, I love the song first and foremost. It's very sexy, I'm here for it. Again. Hey, Snakey's got her 
Okay, that was absolutely incredible. First of all, I was sh in shock and disbelief because we was getting booty and pantyhose and all sorts. I was like, oh yeah, woo! But then the song started and I was like, oh shit, this actually slaps. Like, I really, really liked the song. I loved it. Like, I loved the melodies and I loved the way she was delivering certain words and certain lines. As sexy as the, the MV was and her dancing was, the song was just as sexy and the way she was singing was just as sexy. And towards the end as well, she was giving us some really good vocals during the ad-libs. I really liked that one moment where I, I explained, I think there was like lots of layering and there was like some sort of effect on the vocal, but I said it kind of sounded like it was almost reversed. It had that sort of effect to it. Um, I really, 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 really liked that part. Um, I love the choreo, of course, you guys know I love me some sexy choreo, I love me some badass, grown-ass, adult women choreography and MVs, I'm here for it, uh, I love that, that was absolutely brilliant, also represent the Snakey Squad, uh, shout out to you Anna, thank you so much for looking Cobra Snakey, let's go to the next one. Okay, so next up we have King Cobra. Uh, John's request, shout out to you, John. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. So, John, what this month has requested, I can't talk, so this month, John has requested uh, Ruan, beep, beep. Let's go! <laughs>
She said, Oh my goodness, I was not ready, I was not prepared for that. Are you kidding me? Listen, you know me, you guys know me, you know I love me a K pop song like that. The production was insane, like every two seconds, there was like an incredible sound. Like that, like you guys know, I love details in production like that. The production, oh my god, it was so good uh, i loved how it was quite housey it was quite dancey then you had the switch up during the second verse she came in the spit in this but what the fuck what the fuck that was so good i love the melodies as well so many nice melodies like i said when i was reacting to that i was like every single thing about this every word coming out of her mouth every beat every synthesizer was just incredible again how she came in during the second verse spitting those bars what the hell what the hell that bridge moment oh my god that whole thing was so good i love the visuals as well it's giving me like early lunar vibes lovely's vibes like that was so fucking good oh my god i'm obsessed I'm literally obsessed. Shout out to you, John. Thank you for being a King Cobra Snakey. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. Next up, we have King Cobra Mo. Shout out to you, Mo. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. So, Mo this month has requested uh, Itzel. Itzel? I'm not sure how to pronounce Itzel, but yeah. Uh, the track is New Verse. I'm doing it for you. Let's go. Yeah, 
He's in the back right now. Oh, 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 good lord. Oh, my goodness gracious me, give me strength. That went so hard. I love that vibe so much. Uh, I don't know if you know, I've mentioned this before in other reactions, but I'll mention it again because I doubt everyone's heard me say it. Um, or you might already know it anyway, but. Uh, house the creative house was influenced by disco so house music it originates from it is a mixture of things but mainly it came from disco so the direct so when we went from disco straight into house right from the 80s going into the 90s and sometimes in house music you can hear the disco influences very very strong this is a perfect example of that that, that place where disco and house music meets. And I think it's very, uh, very strong uh, with that sort of new disco vibe from the early 2000s or um, funky house or soulful house. Uh, rather than sort of acid house and those sort of house genres or deep house, you kind of lose that disco sound a bit. When you have songs like this that are more soulful house, you can definitely hear the disco elements in there. And you can hear it especially a lot um, during that chorus. It kind of reminded me of uh, that Mondo Grosso track, uh, which is featuring Boa, which I reacted to in my King Cobra, in one of my King Cobra marathons a while back. I think it was last month. Um, it has a very similar similar vibe to it, and I live for this this sound. It just immediately, immediately, always the specific. They always have specific chord, uh, chord sequences or progressions. And it always sounds so good. I, I think my all-time favourite chords are probably house chords. There's just something about jazz, R&B and house chords that just hit different. That was brilliant. She was so cool. I loved her voice. I loved the tone of her voice. I loved the switch up in the beat when it went a little bit more trappy. Um, I said I love her voice. I love her tone. Very unique. I love her uh, low register when she was going really deep. Uh, she was hitting us with some really cool riffs and runs. She seems really, really cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. Shout out to you, Mo. Thank you so much for making Cobra Snakey. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have King Cobra Robin's request. Shout out to you, Robin. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. So this month, Robin has requested uh, an artist called Gemini. Uh, and uh, the song and a beat is called UFO and it's featuring Sorry, let's go. Ooh. Love that guitar ready. I got a fire on you, I'm so lonely, 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 l
Absolutely brilliant. I love that. First of all, I love that. I gotta find you yeah. Like I love that melody. I love the melodies all throughout. I love the beat. I love the percussion. I love that guitar riff that came in, in the beginning. Um, I love how the a lot of the instrumental, I think it was the beat cut out during the first uh, pre-chorus. Um, and I said I can hear like this clap that was really loud in my right ear. Um, I love stuff like that. I love it when parts of an instrumental cuts out and you can hear other parts in detail. Like, I just love that shit. Um, I loved his tone, the tone of his voice. It was almost a whisper. Um, certain parts, I love vocals like that. And also when Tori came through, her voice is usually like that, but I feel like it was extra breathy um, and husky in this. I'm assuming she did it extra just to fit in with this song. It was giving me, like... Um, those specific tones are really jazzy to me, uh, those uh, whispery, soft, breathy tones uh, oh, kind of reminded me of Hasa a little bit, like I could imagine Hasa on this song with him, do you know what I mean? It has that sort of, like, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Um, and when they eventually started singing together and their vocals blended, it was perfect, it was magic. I also loved how full this song was, even though I just mentioned how parts were cutting out. The vocals, like the layering of this, there were so many like harmonies, ad libs going on. 
Um, and that kept like um, progressing as the song went on. The song kept filling up more and more and more. I really, really loved that. Uh, shout outs to you, Robin. Uh, thank you for being a King Cobra. Thank you. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have King Cobra Sarah's request. Shout out to you, Sarah. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. So Sarah this month has requested Wednesday Campanella. Uh, artist I've never heard of before. Uh, the track is called Bellas. Let's go. B. Yamar Chikson Google yesterday. Not to have a drill into the show. What are you mean? So just a little way. In will till but it. Би одоо энд пэйж болохгүй хүүх цаг нь намайг орхи явлаа Эргийн харах цаг байхгүй Oh, the drums! 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that was so good. I literally just had to Google them. I just had to Google them and now I know that they're a group. My mind is blown. My mind is literally blown. What a work of art. That song was mesmerizing. It's been a long time since I've heard a song with that much detail to just throw me off in every single turn. Like every single time the song just changed, I was like, whoa what's happening and as you guys know i listen to so much music in my own time um i listen to music from all over the world i and then also on my channel i discover music it's i listen to so much music and it's rare for me to come across songs that just have me so mind blown the percussion the drums it was all about the drums for that the drums were in Saying I love the fusion of genres. It was very progressive. It had jazzy elements. It had rock elements. It had EDM elements. It was quite J poppy. You could hear sort of anime opening influences in there. Like Jesus Christ, I'm burping. Like I'm so in shock and obsessed. I'm burping. That was so good. Her voice, like the vocals as well, was so stunning, almost angelic heavenly vocals the chorus the du -du -du, du -du -du. oh my god and then when it would switch to the other synthesizer it was like du -du -du, du -du -du. it was so at first it was like harsh and it was soft just everything about that was absolutely incredible the mv as well was breathtaking what an incredible song wow what a zah. shout out to you sarah thank you so much for being a king cobra snakey let's go on to the next one Okay, so next up, well, last for this part uh, of this month's King Cobra request, we have King Cobra Flower Bit. Uh, shout out to you, Flower Bit. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. So Flower Bit this month has requested uh, Summer Cake Not In Public. Now, about a couple of months ago, I was in a um, Black Mamba session with one of my Black Mamba uh, patrons. And we were doing a Spotify session. At the end of the session, um, a song came on and I remember the artist being Summer Cake and I remember the song was absolutely incredible but I only heard like the first minute, the first minute and a half of the song and I don't remember the name, I just remember it definitely said Summer Cake and it was a female artist. This could be the track, it might, it might not be. Either way, I'm super excited because I completely forgot about ever even hearing that track. So, I don't know if I'm going to recognise it or not. Um, either way, I'm super, super excited. Uh, summer cake, not in public. Envy, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I think this might be it. Ooh. It slaps. It must be this one. Can you hear it? Was it the 
would love that. See, there's another song there called Taketa. See, I, now I want to hear that one to see which is which. Yeah, see, I don't remember it, but that absolutely slapped. So I have no idea if that was a track or not. I might actually ask the Black Mamba if they remember. Um, are all her songs like that? If all her songs are like that, I do not know what to tell you. That absolutely slapped. First of all, those synths, the ding, like those synths, that chord sequence, holy crap, the melodies. Oh my god, the way the song started and then that beat, it had almost like a 90s beat sort of influence in there. Oh my god, her vocals, her vocals, her voice, I love her. Who is she? Who is she? I love the choreo, like in the chorus she was doing those quirky moves, I love the visuals. That was absolutely brilliant, fantastico, terrifico, amazing. Shout out to you, Flower Bit. Thank you so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. That is the end of part one. Uh, I will see you later for part two, which will be some group stuff. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I Love you, wanna find me on Instagram guys, wanna find me on Twitter and yeah. Goodbye. Oh